On February 19th, I drove to Castleton Square in Indianapolis, Indiana for the Pokemon Mall event. And the Pokemon Mall tour is traveling the country right now. And you can actually go to my website and look at the times. When I first got there, I was greeted by these giant inflatable Pokemons, which were set up for photo opportunities. Which I would have gotten my picture taken if I wasn't horribly embarrassed to be there for a Pokemon event. And, you know, didn't go by myself. Um, there were a few people dressed in cosplay, like, you know, this kid doing his Ash Ketchum thing. That girl there, which, you know, it's a shame I didn't see her from the front in this video because she was really decked out like some sort of scary ninja lady thing. In that GameStop, you could uh, download a Celebi, which is level 50 and actually kind of the main reason I drove all the way out there to get it. They were screening the newest Pokemon movie, and I kind of assumed that it would, like, this mall had a theater and they'd be screening it there, but, uh... Nope, they're just playing it on a flat panel. And, you know, that's cool, I guess. Um, you know, I didn't really watch the movie because I have no interest in the uh, Pokemon anime series. I've never really watched it. I've only been into the mainline games. And uh, that's pretty much my level of Pokemon involvement. Now, that little booklet that you pick up with information, uh, on the first page there's five areas for stamps and each area you go to you get your booklet stamped and then you jump in that long line and you go up to the spin wheel and give it a spin and you can win one of several prizes there were keychains uh, styluses for your Nintendo DS and one of them which looked like the best uh, prize on there that I could see anyway from where I was is one of the three plushies for the uh, Pokemon starters. Unless there was something cool like, you know, a free copy of the game, that would be neat. But I couldn't really see what was on the wheel from where I was. And, you know, it looks like something that would have been really fun for kids. Uh, this is the Pokemon Center where you could go and buy uh, some really expensive plushies. Across that top row up there, the black and white Pokemons, the ones from the cover, those bad boys were $20 a piece. The smaller ones were $10 a piece. And the little vinyl figures were 5 bucks. And they're about maybe an inch, inch and a half tall. You could also get a t-shirt and a couple other things which you can see on this poster. I had a lot of fun down at the Pokemon Mall Tour event in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I picked up a couple of... Uh, little mementos to remember the trip that is Tepig one of the starter Pokemons and I personally think that's the uh, coolest looking one and then I also picked up this Zorua uh, plushie which looks kinda stuck up <laughs> um, yeah so this is the bag from the uh, Pokemon store. And let's put that there. This is the information booklet they were giving out. And this is what I was talking about. This is the uh, stamp game. I only got one because I wasn't going to stick around and do the uh, entire thing. And then you get your stamp stamped when you get your prize. Um, see, it tells you a little bit about the uh, stamp rally. And, you know, what's going on with that. The different activities going on with the, uh, Pokemon thing. You know, at each station, it's got the different activities. Some, uh, information about the new upcoming games, Pokemon Black and White, which are going to release on March 6th, I believe. That looks very inappropriate. I can't believe they have not changed to that. That needs to go. Look at that. Some uh, new exclusive never before seen Pokemons. A new way to battle with double and triple battles and rotation battles and you know, I skipped out on Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire because of the double battles, but I don't hate them, and they don't really force them upon you. 
Uh, the new Pokemon's gonna have video chat, or if you have a DSi. If you have a DS Lite like I do, you're not going to be able to do that. But I don't think that even works over the internet. I think that's only with local play, which only works up to like 30 or 60 feet, so what's the point? You know, like, if you're that lazy to where you can't turn around and talk to your friends, you know, come on now. Catch different legendary Pokemon, find different wild Pokemon. The global link, you'll be able to upload your Pokemon to a website, and while they're dreaming, play different mini games to get little doodads, bits, and bobbles. Uh, when you first get the game, you'll be able to download an item to where you can uh, go to an exclusive area and get this fire psychic Pokemon, so I'm probably going to be picking up the game on uh, day one. I might even hit the midnight launch and uh, tape some of that for the show. And, you know, hawking the Pokemon website. Yeah, here's some advertisements. And, uh, some more advertisements. Some, uh, advertisements. And then back here is a list of where the mall tour is headed to next. Very cool stuff. All in all, it was worth the nice little afternoon drive. Here is... A look at the Celebi that I picked up in Indianapolis starting uh, what was it the 21st of February you can download a Celebi so hit your Nintendo actually no you can get them at every GameStop so go to GameStop and download one if you haven't it's the exact same Celebi which kind of bumps me out that I drove two hours I wanted something you know exclusive but, uh, there's my first legit Celebi. And what is, you know, what bumps me out is, uh, the original trainer is Win2011. Winter, you know, 2011. And whenever you get a Pokemon and you're not the original trainer, you cannot change the name of the Pokemon. So I'm stuck with this one being called Celebi. Now, since it wasn't a trade, you weren't really trading, it would be nice if I was the original trainer so that I could change its name. That's something Nintendo needs to work on, because I want to name this one Indy, you know, because I picked it up in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I want to be able to set it apart from the other four Celebes that I downloaded at the GameStop up the street. You know, for all intents and purposes, they're identical, except for the nature is different, I believe. Uh, like, this one is quirky. Let's look at my other Celebi real quick. Yeah, this one is timid. So it would be nice if I could change the name on it. If you go to the name writer, it's just going to say, that's a lovely name. So I think that's kind of doo-doo that uh, the event Pokemon has the, you know, store or the event as the original trainer. I've never really liked that. It'd be nice if I could change the name. Another thing I picked up in Indianapolis is this cold. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, and I'm a little sniffly, but... Uh, <laughs> so, that's a wonderful little keepsake, this uh, stuffy nose and the horribly sore throat. Um, anyway, that's everything I picked up at the Pokemon Mall Tour event, and... According to some kid that was behind me in line, the only place they're going to be selling these plushies is at the mall tour event, so hopefully those are exclusive. If not, whatever. I bought some overpriced uh, stuffed toys. I especially think this thing is adorable. Look at this pig. Uh, this is the fire starter, so when I do get uh, Pokemon Black or White, I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick up, I will definitely start with the fire pig because that is cool I always start with the fire Pokemon that's just how I am